Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Rosemary Klein and this is Chef CT. And we are Essenza de Gusto. Today the chef is going to teach us how to make a lovely butternut squash ravioli with a gentle creamy sauce accented with a lovely fish roe. Directly from Italy. So mm. it's a buttarga di muggine. Oh my gosh, that'll be in the quiz. Very simple, but very, very tasty. Today's ingredients are the fish roe, olive oil, the butternut squash ravioli you make in advance, the mint, the milk, salt and pepper, and nutmeg, the parsley and the water. That's it. That's it. Here we go. Okay, now you'll tell us how we're going to start. Yes, very simply, you get a pot like this, you put this quantity of milk, okay? Third of a cup. You put water. Quarter of a cup. And you put a little bit of olive oil. Ah, Could you help me with Yes, Mary, I please? can do it. How many? Three tablespoons. Three tablespoons coming right up. One. Two, due. Yes. How do you say three? Tre. Tre. Then you put a little bit of the parsley. Not too much, because the champ is going to be the actual mint. Mint. And a little bit of mint right away, just to give this a starter kick. And then you put it on a stove. Here I go. Here we go. Next steps. Yes, with the stove together, we want to do two things uh, at the time to get help each other. She's going to put the uh, butternut uh, squash um, ravioli to boil, uh, with the, in the water, and I am going to put a pinch of salt in the reduction that we're doing here. And voila! Now we wait a little bit more, and we are almost good to go. Okay, I peeled one part of the fish roe, and we uh, actually turned off the flame. We let it. We let the creamy, uh, you know, sauce, uh, quiet, you know, go down in temperature. And now we are shaving the fish roe inside. Not too much. Never overdo it. So now this is going to become a cream. Never boil it. Never put it when it's boiling. Never. Let it gently sit a little bit, and then put the fish roe. So it'll it'll create a creamy substance altogether, and it'll be a perfect, perfect spot. And now, this is a, a last thing before plating. You put it back in this kind of, uh, you know, uh, saucepan. Exactly, and you put the pasta. Oh, beautiful looking, huh? Yes, you wow. put it one second on the stove so it just, you know, sucks it up. Here we are again at our favorite moment. We're going to be tasting not only this delicious wine, but we're going to be tasting this fabulous dish. Here we go. First is, tell us about this wine. Yes, this is a, a marvelous French wine. It's a Sancerre from uh, Les Bouffons. Uh, prestigious wine and perfect to go with uh, such a marvelous plate. Just two seconds I'm gonna take, I don't usually do it. I love everything I cook, but this is one of my favorite, favorite things. Pasta, Italian, and the way it is, I wish you could taste it, but we will for you. Yeah. Okay. So cheers to us. Cheers to you guys. And to cooking for you. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Yes, and please, uh, you know, buon appetito, and then and then taste it. Buon appetito. Please, Here madame, since we're having a French wine. I am very excited about this. I'm taking a huge bite. There's are so many flavors. Mm. Mm. Awesome. I gotta have another bite. We have to have you here with us sometime, don't we? To you guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Cheers. 